Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Friday edition of Live at Five. I'm Matt Harrelson. Richmond County animal advocates will be holding a dog wash Sunday afternoon starting at 2 p.m. at Tractor Supply Company on Rockingham Road in Rockingham. The group funds a low-cost spay and neuter program for county animals and helps provide pet food for families in need. A wash is generally held the last Sunday of each month. Anyone with questions can contact Hannah Marks on Facebook. The PD Pregnancy Resource Center is hosting its inaugural volleyball and cornhole tournament Saturday, September 28th to celebrate 20 years of service to the community. The games will start at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow at Robert L. Baptist Church. There will also be a food and bake sale fundraiser with breakfast beginning at 8 a.m. The cost to enter a team for the Cornhole Tournament is $30. All proceeds will benefit the center. For more information on this event, contact Jessica Lyles at 910-202-5250. East Rockingham United Methodist Church will be hosting its annual 3S meal featuring soup, salad, and a sandwich from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Friday, October 4th. Plates are $8 each, and delivery is available for orders of five or more plates. For more information, you can call 910-997-5790. The Friends of Leith Memorial Library invite members of the public to, quote, come paint with us. The painting night fundraiser will be from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, October 8th at the library in the Calvin Little Room. Pre-registration is required and the cost to participate is $40, with proceeds going straight to the library. You can call Leith Memorial at 910-895-6337 for more information. A woman is in jail on charges after allegedly holding a man up for prescription pills. According to a warrant, 18-year-old Adriana Jade Brown threatened a man with a handgun on September 20th and robbed him of 119 dosage units of Xanax and $25 in currency. The pills and cash had a combined value of $977. Brown was arrested by deputies with the Richmond County Sheriff's Office on September 23rd and charged with robbery with a dangerous weapon. She is currently being held in the Richmond County Jail under a $50,000 secured bond and is scheduled to appear in court on October 3rd. The driver of a minivan was airlifted Thursday afternoon following a wreck on US-220. Trooper Kay York with the State Highway Patrol says she was told by a witness that a minivan was making a left turn from the southbound lane at the intersection with Billy Covington Road around 3.35 p.m. and pulled out in front of a truck headed north. The vehicles collided and the van overturned, according to York. Both vehicles came to a rest in the grass on the right side of the northbound lane, so traffic on the highway was not blocked. The driver of the van was transported from the scene and airlifted to Chapel Hill, the trooper said. The extent of the driver's injuries was not known at the time and no names were released. The driver of the van will be cited for failing to see before turning, according to the trooper. All right, we return. We've got your Live at Five weather report. What is the weather for the weekend as well as tonight's Richmond Raider football game? We'll let you know right after the break, so stay tuned. Circulars and coupons are now available at richmondobserver.com. Check out our circulars tab to find deals and discounts from your favorite local retail, department, and grocery stores. Be sure to check back every week for the latest on clothes, food, and other items. And the best part is, they're free. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. 
At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Line 5 weather report is brought to you by R.O. Yellow, Richmond County's new business online directory. And uh, it is Friday night football. Richmond Raiders are ready to go after uh, one week off. Uh, now they're ready to open up conference play tonight against Pernell Split at home. That'll be at 7.30. And uh, I'm trying my best to get some green and gold in here. I got my Hufflepuff tie on here to kind of represent half of that, just to show my support for the Raiders tonight. I uh, can't really do any green in front of a green screen, otherwise you'll get some uh, invisible uh, stuff going on here. But uh, yeah, trying my best here with a uh, yellow tie here. But uh, taking a look at tonight's forecast for the game, uh, we got some thunderstorms kind of popping up potentially with 50% chance of it. Uh, it's gonna be 80 degrees though, but hopefully that thunderstorm will be out of the way really, really fast, because uh, an hour afterwards there'll be mostly cloudy skies with a temperature of 76 and no chance at all in the forecast so hopefully this storm wherever it is it will move out here really quickly so we can get the game going and rolling uh take a look at tomorrow's forecast however we got part cloudy skies sunshine back in the area uh fayetteville with a high of 90 low of 72 lumberton will be a high of 91 low of 71 rayford's gonna be a high of 91 and a low of 70. and then moving over uh southern pines will be a high of 90 and a low of 69 Warrenburg will be a high 91 and a low of 70, followed by Bennettsville, pretty much the same, 91, 70. Uh, Ellerby's gonna be a high in, uh, 90 with a low of 69. Rockingham, high of 90, low of 69 there as well. And then Waysboro, about the same as well, uh, high of 90, low of 70. As you can see, uh, our lovely fall weather is awesome right now. Uh, so we got point in 90s in the forecast. That's some uh, sarcasm there for you. Uh, take a look at the seven day forecast. Saturday is going to be a lot of clouds in the sky, uh, high 90, low of 69. Sunday is going to be sunny with a high 90, 94 and a low of 71. And then Monday, start of, of the work week, will be a high 90, low of 64. And then Tuesday, which is uh, not quite our coldest day, uh, but it'll be a high of 89, low of 63. Moving over to Wednesday, it'll be a high 93, low of 66. Followed by Thursday with more sunshine, high 95, low of 67. And then Friday next week, we're looking at a high of 84, low of 62. Now, it's not showing up here, but we are looking a little bit ahead of uh, Friday, and we are seeing a little bit of raindrops that could form uh, uh, later next weekend. But we'll definitely take a little more closer look at that on Monday. So stay tuned for uh, the next show, and we'll get you more updates on that. But that's going to do it for your Line 5 Weather Report. When we return, we've got your RO Sports update. Plenty of volleyball action on for the next segment coming up right after the break. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. We are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete seven curricular programs entirely online, including our university transfer degree. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Low Tree Antiques and Gifts is an occasional shop located at 122 South Hancock Street in Rockingham. We are open the first weekend of each month, Thursday through Saturday. We strive to offer a unique selection of vintage, antique, handmade, and new goods. If you are looking for something out of the ordinary, then we're the place for you. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is passionate about helping you make your home or office space unique. We would love to see you during our next occasional shop dates. Simply Chic Boutique in downtown Rockingham has a wide selection of designer clothing, purses, 
shoes, jewelry, home decor, and other accessories. Stop by our location at 302 East Washington Street to check out one of the finest stores in the Sand Hills region that features great deals on brand name clothing. That's Simply Chic Monogram Boutique in downtown Rockingham on the corner of East Washington and South Lawrence Street. There was plenty of volleyball action Thursday evening between Richmond County's middle schools and the Richmond Raiders. Round two of SAC play got off on the right foot for the green and gold. The Lady Raiders and assistant coach Melissa Dennis traveled to SAC opponent Purnell Sweat and completed the regular season series sweep of the Lady Rams with a 3-0 win. It was the second win over the Lady Rams this fall as Richmond also knocked off Purnell Sweat 3-1 in late August. Set scores were 25-16, 25-18, and 25-20 in favor of the Lady Raiders and made it the second night in a row they swept their respective opponent. With the race tightening in the SAC standings and Richmond currently locked in the number three spot behind Pinecrest and Scotland, a win against Purnell Sweat was a necessity for Dennis and company. Now 12-2 overall and 5-2 against SAC opponents, Richmond will look to climb the ladder with three crucial matches next week. The Lady Raiders will open at Pinecrest on Tuesday, followed by a home-and-home -home series with fourth place Jack Britt on Wednesday and Thursday. All matches will begin at 6 p.m. <clears throat> the volleyball season for Ellerby has been a tough road, but the Lady Wildcats have continued to show improvement in the last handful of matches. Ellerby and head coach Kristen uh, Svidek uh, competed in two more SEM-SAC matches this week, traveling to Spring Hill on Wednesday before returning home Thursday against Cordova. While both matches would see Ellerby fall and remain winless on the year, the Lady Wildcats did manage to win their first set and keep both matches close. At Spring Hill, Ellerby fell 11-25, 21-25 in the first match before seeing the Lady Spartans take Game 2, 25-14 and 25-22. In Thursday's match at in-county rival Cordova, set scores were 26-28 and 12-25 in the first match. Ellaby trailed 12-24 in the first set, but a serving streak of 13 points from Allie Maynard rallied Ellerby to take a 25-24 lead. Needing to win by two, the Lady Cavs came back to upset the Lady Wildcats. Ellerby will wrap up their regular season play on Monday at home against Anson Orange at 4 p.m. Staying atop of the SEM SAC volleyball standings is Hamlet Middle School. The Lady Red Rams continued their hot start to the season with another brushing of a conference opponent on Wednesday. Head coach Alex Gardner's team traveled to an unbeaten Carver and picked up wins on both ends of the doubleheader. The Lady Red Rams will look to extend their perfect winning streak when they travel to Anson on Monday, also at 4 p.m. The Rockingham volleyball team returned to the win column on Wednesday, rebounding from a loss to SEM, SAC, and in-county rival Hamlet earlier in the week. In action at home against Anson Blue, Head coach Teresa Mason's team slid past the Lady Bearcats in straight sets in both matches. The pair of victories improved Rockingham's overall record to 6-2. The Lady Rockets will return to Richmond County and play Cordova at Monday, beginning at 4 p.m. And that's going to do it for another edition of Live at 5. Of course, be sure to stay up to date on all the latest here in Richmond County by going to richmondobserver.com or by downloading the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Matt Harrelson. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and go Raiders.